global economy that's being transformed by technology, by globalization, by the rise of emerging markets, and by crisis in the West, a global politics that's being transformed by the rise of new forms of governance, new relationships between the state and the private sector, and a new expectation on the part of people everywhere, from the Arab world to Russia to China to Africa, of a say in how they are governed, a voice in the kind of government that they are going to have. This is a world that is defined probably like no other time in the last half century by change, by volatility, by uncertainty. It is a world that has certainly enormous risks still, and we here in Europe have, of course, been through a period of risk and crisis that we are, I think, slowly coming out of. But it is also a world that has and shows tremendous opportunity. But it is opportunity that will be found and will be seized by understanding one thing, I believe, more than anything. And that is that the world is not flat. Let me repeat that, because it's something we've all been schooled to believe for a very long time. The world is not flat. The world is spiky, it is diverse, it is fragmenting, and it is defined more and more by the individual interests of states and companies, new alliances, and new partnerships. And so today, in the time I have, I'm going to challenge you, hopefully not challenge you to sleep, but challenge you nonetheless to think of a world that, above all, is much more complex. There are no simple solutions, there are no simple answers, and there are no simple definitions.